the governor of Idaho is the head of government of Idaho and commander-in-chief of the state's military forces. The office holder has the duty to see state laws are executed, power to either approve or veto bills passed by the Idaho legislature. The current governor of Idaho is Republican Brad Little, who took office on January 7, 2019. The territory of Idaho had 16 territorial governors appointed by the President of the United States from the Territories Organization in 1863 until the formation of the state of Idaho in 1890. Four of these never took office, resigning before reaching the territory. 31 individuals have held the office of Governor of Idaho since the state's admission to the Union. In 1890, two of whom, C. E. Bottolfson and Cecil Andres, served non-consecutive terms. The state's first governor, George L. Shoup, had the shortest term of three months. Cecil Andres served as governor the longest at 14 years. Four governors resigned, but none have died while in office. Twenty governors have been Republicans while eleven were Democrats. Andrus was the last Democrat to hold the governorship in Idaho. He left office in 1995. Idaho Territory was created from Dakota Territory, Nebraska Territory, and Washington Territory on March 4, 1863. Due to the long distance between Washington, D.C. and Boise, there was often a lengthy gap between a governor being appointed and his arrival in the territory. Four resigned before even arriving. Idaho was admitted to the Union on July 3. 1890. Since then, the state has had 33 governors, two of whom served non-consecutive terms. The terms for governor and lieutenant governor are four years, commencing on the first Monday in the January following the election. Prior to 1946, the officers were elected to terms of two years. If the office of governor is vacant or the governor is out of state or unable to discharge his duties, the lieutenant governor acts as governor until such time as the disability is removed. If both the officers of governor and lieutenant governor are vacant or both those officers are unable to fulfill their duties, the president pro tempore of the Idaho Senate is next in line. And then the speaker of the Idaho House of Representatives. After the change to four-year terms, self-succession was not initially allowed. Newly elected governor Robert A. Smiley formerly the state's attorney general, successfully lobbied the 1955 legislature to propose an amendment to the state constitution to allow gubernatorial re-election, which was approved by voters in the 1956 general election. There is no limit to the number of terms a governor may serve. 